The Life and Sad Ending of Kathleen Crowley Kathleen Crowley was born Betty Jane Crowley on December 26, 1929, in the Greenbank section of Washington Township, New Jersey. Crowley graduated from Egg Harbor City High School in 1946. On August 7, 1949, the 19-year-old Crowley won the title of Miss New Jersey at a contest held at Asbury Park, New Jersey. As the winner, she entered the Miss America pageant held in Atlantic City, New Jersey on September 10, 1949, and finished in seventh place. At the time, she was working as a bookkeeper. Crowley attended New York's American Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1950 on a scholarship won at the Miss America pageant and undertook some live TV work there. In February 1951, she appeared with Conrad Nagel in A Star is Born on Robert Montgomery Presents. Crowley made 81 television appearances and was cast in 20 movies between 1951 and 1970. One of her last movie roles was in Downhill Racer with Robert Redford. She made three guest appearances on Perry Mason, including the role of defendant and title character Marilyn Clark in the 1958 episode The Case of the Lonely Heiress. She was in the 1963 episode of Perry Mason's The Case of the Drowsy Mosquito as Mrs. Bradison. She also appeared in seven episodes of the popular TV series 77 Sunset Strip beginning with that series episode titled, Lovely Lady Pity Me, based on a novel by series creator Roy Huggins. In the episode Strange Bedfellows, she appeared as Marty a Cedar, a character purposely similar to Zsa Zsa Gabor due to their extremely close physical resemblance. For the episode The Desert Spa Caper, Crowley portrayed alcoholic actress Claire Dickens. Many of her films were science fiction and horror movies, but she appeared in a wide range of narrative television series produced in the late 1950s and 1960s, including Crossroads, Yancey Derringer with Jock Mahoney, Bourbon Street Beat with Andrew Duggan, Surfside Six with Troy Donahue, Hawaiian Eye with Connie Stevens, 77 Sunset Strip with Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., Vat Masterson with Gene Barry, Anthology Series The Americans, Bonanza. Colt.45. Bronco with Ty Harden, branded with Chuck Connors, Ready Go, My Three Sons with Fred McMurray, The Donna Reed Show, Checkmate with Sebastian Cabot and Doug McClure, Route 66, Thriller with Boris Karloff, Batman with Adam West, Disneyland, Family Affair with Brian Keith, Rawhide with Clint Eastwood. The Virginian with Doug McClure. The High Chaparral. The Restless Gun with John Payne. Tales of Wells Fargo with Dale Robertson. The Lone Ranger. And The Adventures of Champion. Citation Needed. In 1960, Crowley appeared as Lori Allen on the TV Western Laramie in the episode titled Street of Hate. Crowley is best remembered for appearing in eight episodes. A series record for leading ladies as a variety of seductive sirens on the series Maverick. She was the only actress in the series that James Garner lauded her acting ability in depth and at length in his memoir The Garner Files. Her Maverick episodes were The Jeweled Gun with Jack Kelly, Maverick Springs with James Garner and Jack Kelly, The Misfortune Teller with James Garner, A Bullet for the Teacher and Keys with Roger Moore, and three more with Jack Kelly titled Dade City Dodge, the Troubled Heir, and One of Our Trains is Missing. Crowley married John Rubsam in Los Angeles on September 27, 1969, and gave birth to her only child, a son named Matthew, the following year. She died at age 87 on April 23, 2017, at her home in Green Bank, New Jersey. She was survived by her husband, son, and granddaughter. Memories are nostalgic things about her. What she has done will forever accompany the fans' years. If there is nothing to remember, I am afraid my heart will dry up.